Hello and welcome back to another manga haul! And we will start like we always do with the first clip. I will put up a few more clips and then we will see how it goes. And for the first time since I'm doing this kind of manga haul, I remember to do my nails with my favorite nail polish. Depending on the light, it changed the color. I don't know if I can see it. Anyway, we will start with the store pickups, which are obviously all German. And then we have a package underneath with all my English volumes. So let's go. We have a lot to go through. So let's keep it rolling. We will do it on the box, because why not? And the first volume that I got for Christmas is volume two of the Silent Voice Electric luxury edition and as you can see by this cute little kitty at top i am currently reading it i have read volume one super amazed can't say i remember a lot from what i've even remembered of the movie and it's fantastic it's a lot of drama highly recommendation if you have never read it before Please do if you like drama and a bit more a bit more life concerning themes if you know what i mean Anyway, that's the first one. And next, we have volume 9 of More Than a Doll. Look at this cute color page. And the story is picking up nicely. I already read this because I couldn't wait. These shenanigans are always so cute. Anyway, great to have it. Then we have volume 10 of the case study of Vanitas. And I don't think you can actually read it, but it's a limited edition because it contains an art book, a small art book, which is this one. And I have not read it, that's why it's still in its safely packaged plastic. You can see how much it costs me. And I can't wait to see how the art book looks like. Of course, I had to have the limited edition. And I don't even know where the story is, because I still haven't picked up the other volumes and read it. I mean, I have the other volumes, but I haven't picked it up to read anyway. Continuing along, I got volume 9 and 10 of I'm a Spider So What, which was a birthday Christmas, uh, blah, which was a birthday present for me. And I'm happy to continue the story. Always nice to read them. Let's take a small sneak peek here. Looking ominous. Really like the story so far. Then we have volume 2 of My Boy. I have not read the first one yet. But I want to collect maybe a few more volumes before I dive in. It's sweet, it's wholesome in my opinion, and I like it. Following along, we have volume 15 of Toilet uh, of Toilet Bound Hana Cocoon with seemingly some extra of sweet stickers. I don't know what's in. I have not read it. I want to read it, but I'm currently reading something different. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this. So we will see maybe when i do the next clip i will probably have read it until then then i can show you what the stickers are and then last but not least the last store pickup is the blood taker momo or momo the blood taker volume 5. oh look at this art cover so freaking amazing i love these spines i love the way they've chosen to do the whole gimmick of the book with these side flaps so pretty but <laughs> they have done a mistake they completely put in this picture on the wrong side <laughs> i don't know how this happened but it's funny in its own right so i took a little sneak peek and yes the current arc is ending with this one and I think a new one is beginning. Excited to read it. And with this, the first half is finished and we will now cut open our box and see what I got. As you can see the first item i got is not a manga it's a figure and of course i got the one that i didn't want 
<laughs> I'm so unlucky. I knew it. Okay, there are two versions of this. And I obviously wanted the other one. And I obviously got this one. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. I'm always unlucky with this one. So that's why I never do like blind boxes or stuff like this because I always get the one that I didn't want. <laughs> At least the art is cute. The hardy first book I got is Hell in a Bottle. I saw it from a different YouTuber or a manga YouTuber. It's pretty thin. I somehow thought it would be bigger. I was intrigued. It's a hardcover and <laughs> no idea what to expect. Looks kind of different from what I would have expected. But we will see. So I don't think it's a manga in the classical sense. Next we got volume 4 of Her Royal Highness Seems to be Angry. So excited always for a new volume of this one. Super excited. Can't wait to read it and see where this story is going. And we got volume 2 of Heaven's Time Loop. The villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. Not read the first one. We'll probably read them now together. Now that I got two volumes and can enjoy a bit of the story. Following along we have volume 3, I swear I won't bother you again. I just recently or maybe a month prior I read the other two volumes so I can right dive into this third volume and see where we are with this one. And next, <laughs> I was so anticipating this volume, My Secret Affection. Volume 1 by Fumi Mikami and it's such an interesting premise because it's about... I, I'm not exactly sure how it came about but in this world it's basically normal for BL and GL that girls love girls, boys love girls and you are the odd one for loving the opposite sex which is interesting because that's what this is about this girl likes her childhood friend which is a boy and is kind of struggling around with it because it's not normal in their world to love the opposite sex so i'm super interesting where this is going if he likes her too or if she is just an anomaly if she will find others with the same inclination or not pretty interesting one and it's a sick one as well so that makes me happy and the last volume that i got is volume 5 of record of ragnarok and you can see the next battle which just recently got the second season on netflix and of course i already watched it so i know how it, i know how it ends but happy to have it here even yeah will be interesting it's interesting it's my I think it's probably my favorite battle as of now from all the battles that there, that there is outside I think or was it a different no I, I think it was this one and I think it's the first one which spans around five uh, or around three volumes I think anyway I love the dynamic of this fight and I think it's one of my favorites so far so that's everything for this clip all in all we have 14 volumes and one figure that i didn't want so we will move this aside anyway happy to have this many for one haul and i will catch you in the next clip hello and welcome back to another part and we got another package with new volumes so let's cut it open And as always, Antonia.com is my go-to website for my English mangas. And here we have it. Two packages this time. Here we have it. Two packages. So let's unwrap this and I will catch you after unwrapping it. First up, we got another book of the Maiden's Bookshelf. And this time it's the moon over the mountain and I really enjoyed the first one hell in a bottle yeah I think hell in a bottle and I'm so happy the artwork is amazing the story is very interesting it's more like a book than a manga which I was first surprised about but look how stunning this is so amazing 
and i think in this story it's about some friends where one of them gets transformed into a tiger and they meet again so really exciting to reading this let's cut this open and first from yen press a new volume and it's the princess of convenient plot devices volume one which is an isekai of our main character this girl she's the princess of the kingdom and the funny part about this story is she got reincarnated into a bl world that's her brother that's his lover and in the original story Octavia, so her new name is Octavia or Octa Octavia, I, I'm not exactly sure how to call it or how to pronounce this name. She actually gave them her child as future child because that's the future king and obviously two males can't have a child of their own so she gives them her child but reincarnated heroine doesn't want to do this and we start from there it it's freaking awesome story i really like it we also have the mystery about who transferred her into this world and this handsome lad is her bodyguard and some other mysteries about him which is about this seal and i can highly recommend it it's a really fun story and i like the cover and the color this is a nice one next another yen press and that's volume three of cross dressing villainous sylvia silly I finally read the first two volumes so I can continue reading this. I have to say the story is intriguing but also kind of stupid in a way. And actually she's the type of girl that I don't like in my stories. She just thinks if I cross dress I will fool everyone and nothing will change and I will avoid my bad ending. But essentially she changes everything about the story and they are too oblivious about these changes or the feelings of the male characters towards her. And it's kind of frustrating about this oblivious side of her, which I really hate usually in my main characters. So we, we will see how this one will go and if she will grow and realize that she's changing everything and just because she's cross-dressing doesn't mean that she will avoid her bad ending or more like she will avoid it but she's changing everything as well. Yeah, we will see how this story goes but usually she's not the type of heroine I like to read. And ah, we got volume 5 finally of the hero is overpowered but overly cautious this series is picking up it's so releasing so slowly but i'm happy to finally have volume 5 can't wait to see how this story continues it's always such a fun read it's a little bit erotic i don't know it's funny the story is really dark on one hand and really funny on the other so i highly recommend this and i'm happy to finally have volume 5. next a new release from seven seas entertainment is Gap Papa Daddy at Work and at Home which is a story about this guy who has a gap personality between his home self and his work self and it's a very popular um, webtoon it was a very popular webtoon and now it got printed and as you can see because it was a webtoon you have this colored everything is colored it's we hopefully really really sweet that's what i hope to expect from this and i love sweet and soft and wholesome stories and i hope this one will be it even so it's told pe pe uh, episodical epi episodically i think i can't wait to read this and it's really big i love this nice another colored manga for my collection or more like this is a webtoon so another webtoon for my collection and it's finally here you see this you know what this is this is a shiba and let me show you there's a shiba <laughs> i'm so 
happy finally doomsday with my dog released volume one and we have a shiba and gojushin sama because this dog can talk with his human and it's a post apocalyptic world and they travel around and seemingly she's the only human that still lives in this world and she can talk with haru the dog and of course it's all in color and it's episodically as well it's comedic but i really enjoy reading it these are always short stories there's an anime out of it but it's also told like this so the anime is kind of confusing and really short every episode is really short but i'm so happy to finally have it yay and i highly recommend it if you love dogs this is the dog manga for you their relationship is great because she actually loves cats and doesn't want to have a dog but yeah it, it's funny we have aliens we have all the animals can talk and it's fun i really love it so i'm so happy to finally have volume one of it and another one which i was so excited to see from seven seas it's volume two of a Chinese fantasy and this time it takes the title Law of the Fox. I love version one and I can't wait to read more. These are all short stories from different kinds and I think the biggest one this time will be the fox will be about a fox and I love this it again really amazing cover design the art style is great and i can just recommend it pick these up both of them because these stories are very very good and that's it for this haul or not haul but for this clip we got a lot of new volumes really exciting about all of them and i can recommend all of them maybe except this one but we will see how i feel about volume three for now i don't really like this type of girl but anyway high recommendation if you like more story like with nice artwork these stories are great they are usually based on it says here the maiden bookshelf series combines classic short stories of the early 20th century with gorgeous original artwork to create collectible editions of for a contemporary audience from kodansha anyway I love this. I plan to pick up all the other releases of this as well. And this will do really nice on the bookshelf. So that's it. Don't drag this on longer than necessary. And I will catch you in the next clip. Until then, bye bye. Hello and welcome back to the probably last on haul for this video. And here we have a really big package from figuria.com and it's like 20 volumes at once and I never do this it's just there was always coming a new volume and I was like I will wait until this one comes and then I didn't want to pay and so now nah, well whatever I will wait so this one got pretty big pretty huge it's manga was of three months for me so it's quite a big haul so let's get right into it <laughs> I got gotcha phones. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't know this. So I got gotcha phones. These are what 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 oh, yeah. So these are all Tokyo Revenger ones and I will do them in a separate video but as you can already see here we have a dragon and I think I saw another dragon here so I got two dragon I got three for uh, two series so that's how it's <gasps> I got a Shifuyu yay so that's all worth it I already got a Shifuyu Okay, anyway, I don't want to spoil me too much. We will see this in another video. Maybe join me when I unpackage these gachapon. And here we have the actual goodies. Three different packages. Oh, I see something. 
I got... Oh, th that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad <laughs> with the lighting and everything. I got a Tiger Titan, no regrets, in the Deluxe Edition in black and white. I didn't know there's the one in color. And it's obviously about Captain Levi and the other one. So I actually don't collect Attack on Titan, but I enjoy Levi's character quite a bit. So I decided, you know what? If I at least enjoy a series and don't want to pick up the whole one, I would just get something from it. And this is the something, and now I have something from Attack on Titan in my collection. Let's unravel the first one. And here we have these spines, looking as lovely as ever. So we will start with two new volumes of my boy, volume three and four. I have not started this yet, but I will probably now that I have got four volumes. And yeah, excited. This story is not for everyone, I think, but I personally enjoy the kind of drama, the interaction and everything about it. So yeah, I wanted to have this in my collection because it's a really wholesome story in my opinion. Moving on, I got volume 16 for my toilet bound Hana Kukun. Really cute. This cover is so cute. I think everyone knows Hana Kukun at this point, so yay. And yeah, I can't wait to read this. I got volume 6 and seven and it's always really chromatic bind of momo the blood taker a vampire series which i can highly recommend it's really interesting and in this volumes in these two volumes i think oh god i hate it <laughs> no so in germany we had the publisher kaze manga which had been bought by crunchyroll and now belongs to crunchyroll and they had a change in the logo and I was really hoping they wouldn't do this for continuing series, but they obviously did. But then I realized I was just ranting about it because here we have this really chromatic kind of feel. You can touch these letters and here it isn't and it's not chromatic anymore. And then I realized they, they put a sleeve around it. Why? You can decide whether you want to have the old one or the sleeve. So obviously we'll not use the sleeve because this looks so much better in my opinion. Look at it. How the light reflects on it. It's amazing. Great. I hope they will continue to do it in this way. And obviously we have a very beautiful artwork in it. A color page. And on the back flip side is also one. Let me show you for number seven. Oh, adorable. Absolutely love it. Happy. And the last one from this deck is a volume one of the summer in which Hikaru died is the ultimate translation. You will also get this in English, but I think the English release will take a while until it comes. I think it's a BL, but it's also horror and mystery and maybe adventure. I'm not exactly sure. This color is vibrant. I love it. And it follows this guy whose friend, which is this one, who's Hikaru just came back from, I think, on vacation in the mountain and he realized you're not Hikaru. Oh, it comes with a shikishi. Shikishi. A small shikishi. So cute. Yeah, that's what the, the symbols. So this one died and another something took place of him and he knows this, but he can't let go of his friend. So he continues to live with them, even though he's not the one he was. And I think it's a bit about the mystery to unravel who this new Hikaru is. And there seems to be horror elements into it, because I think one of the things that he said to him is, oh no, no, you know, and I need to kill you. Please don't do this to me. And I was super intrigued. I'm interested how this one will go. Moving on. On to the next, which seems to be containing even more manga. At least I didn't need to pay for shipping. So that's in this pack. And first we have a new volume, new series for me, which is called Gijin Gentosho Demon 
Hunter. I think there's also an English release if you're interested. Because obviously, oh, I didn't mention it. These are all German volumes and it's volume one. Seems to be mature. Yeah, they, they suggest that only people after a certain age, in this case 16, should read this. So there will be mature themes in it. I thought it looked interesting and I decided I will pick it up. I read like one chapter online and there seems to be demons in it, there seems to be drama in it and yeah, I'm really really interested how this one will be. There also seems to be some kind of time traveling in it. Yeah, I'm going blind into this series. We will come back to this one later. I will also put this to the side. You will see later why. I got the second volume of my rebirth in Maydare, the evil switch on the world. It's an villainous isekai kind of trope, except she's not really in villainous. It's just she remembers her previous life as a high school girl in Japan and we follow her travel now as a magic and girl which is a descendant of the evil witch in history. Oh, so cute. I will start to read the series when volume 3 comes out which just happened around the corner. I just need to pick it up. We have the color page. But overall, really stunning artwork and I actually love this story. So happy to finally have volume 2. Obviously, as you can already tell by the mess of authors on the side, this is an adaptation from a light novel. So I think you can pick up the light novel for this as well. And I finally managed to pick up volume 5 and 6 of Kimono Chihen. I can now finally read this series up to the I think sevens or eight volumes that I have and then I will decide whether I like the series or not and if I will drop it. So this will be high on my list to read just to finally finalize if I really want to collect the series or not. I really like the beginning but I don't know if it's interesting enough as the, con as the story progresses. And the really thick one that we have here because it's a one and two is Dance Dance Danceur from George Asakura and we have some color pages. I absolutely adore the artwork from this artist. I've read another story from them online and look at how gorgeous this is. And it's basically about a story about our main character who loves to dance ballet, but then his father dies, who was a wrestler, I think. And he needs to step up to be the man in his family and drops this all together only to restart it in high school because of classmate, a female classmate who he saw dancing and then he has a lot of denial in the beginning because it's not manly to dance ballet but he falls back into it and well it's the story about this and then after he overcomes all the prejudged losing his, his friend circle and stuff like this the usual stuff with teenagers and what's manly and not manly and then we follow him how he continues his dream as a dancer ballet dancer even though he's already a teen at this point but it's interesting i love this artwork so i had to pick it up and it's a two-in-one and it's damaged i hate it no it's damaged anyway happy that we got the translation of this and on to the last one the last amazing packet the last part of this haul Ta -da! and that's the last pack and the beginning goes with volume 2 of BL versus No More BL and volume 3. And both of them have some mini prints in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cute. And again, we follow the story of our main character, how he tries to avoid a BL ending for himself in a seemingly BL world. It's really funny in my opinion. So I'm stoked about volume 3 and learning more about this series. Then I got volume 18 of Surf Vamp. Like I said, I really need to pick the series back up again. I have no idea where it's left. I still know that this is our main character and that this is his Surf Vamp, but that's all I remember. And 
And now I can finally talk it talk about it because I got Kaiju number no. 8 volume 2 and 3 in the German edition. I'm so stoked about it. These colors are freaking amazing. They pop and I think I don't need to read to talk too much about the series except just read it. I think you will like it. Also I have to say there's a pretty interesting twist in the early part of the series which I at first thought why did the author do this but it seemingly worked out i didn't guess it would and as you can see it's also by crunchyroll yay happy to continue this series and here we have the other one which is a two shot someday i will fall asleep i didn't expect the second volume to be those sick couldn't they have cut it better <laughs> if there are only two volumes because it's completed with these two volumes so it's basically this girl dies in an accident in a bus accident and the shikigami kind of guy comes and picks her up and says she will never rest in peace if she can't fulfill three troubles that she has in her life which she had in her life and he gives her 49 days to come into clean about these three problems and the story is basically about this. It sounded intriguing. We also got color pages which is nice. I can't wait to read this how this story goes. No idea what to expect. Oh no here we don't have a color page. Ah! Why are they always this inconsistent? Or is this the second edition? because usually they don't do color pages in the second edition but it seems to be the first one so there's just no color page which sucks anyway let's see where this one will go and last but not least i got volume five and six and seven is already out but it sold out before i could finish my purchase of Tokyo Revengers. Volume 5 has my favorite boy Shifuyu on top and on the back side we have Mitsuya and here we have, though I know that his last name is Shiba but I right now am missing his first name and Hakai I think is his name. So, And with this volume the winter arc, the Christmas arc will end in this volume and then with the next one we will continue with a different story. You can hardly see these six <laughs> anyway i also didn't read the german versions of this really said that there are no color pages in these big editions but carlson hardly does color pages nowadays anyway i will have to pick up volume 7 in a store and with that I'm finished 21 volumes, all German volumes. I'm super happy, super stoked about this order. And I will catch you. I thank you for watching. Tell me what's your favorite pickup of this month, of the last month, which is your favorite series in the moment. I would like to know. I thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next one. And I wish you a great day, evening, morning or afternoon, whenever you're watching this. I thank you. Until then, bye bye. Oh, they stand on their own. <laughs> nice. Bye bye.